First, I want to start off with your full name, please. My name is CMR Valentina Pierre. Okay. Thank you for joining us. By the way, my name is Sean Galloway. I'm the uh, coordinator for the Carroll County Remembers in Carroll County Through the Eyes of Black Experience. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Sean. And sharing your memories. Mm -hmm. um, we talked a little bit before we got started. Um, how long have you been in Carroll County? Oh, about... We're going on... It's a little bit over three years. A little over three years. Mm -hmm. And you've had some, uh, some good experiences. I've had great experiences. Um, I feel uh, pretty... Uh, Lucky to be here and to be to become a part of the fabric of the community. Uh, they definitely love the land here. Um, not to say they don't love the land elsewhere, but there's a very strong sense of home, strong sense of family here, a strong sense of community. You just want to get involved too. Okay, and you are pretty involved now that you bring it up. Uh, can you tell us what you're involved in in Carroll County? Well, currently I am uh, the first vice president of the NWC chapter 7014 here. I work underneath uh, Jean Lewis, who's uh, current husband, or uh, rather husband for over, I don't know, 35 years, has uh, has been the previous uh, NWC president as well. Okay. It's been a joy working with them and also other uh, members of the NWCP group. Okay. Um, you mentioned that you also have a big role with education um, when involving in the NAACP. Yes. Could you t talk a little bit about that? Yes. Um, I am also the education chairperson, and I've had that role for a couple of years now. Um, it's been very rewarding for me because education is very dear to my heart. Um, it runs in the family. My mother's a long-term teacher. I've uh, been teaching for over 45 years. Um, but uh, I don't think just because you're a parent, that's just the role of, a, of someone becoming involved in education because it's just your child. It's uh, the strongest communities that I know of always has the parents, the teachers, and the community supporting the child. And I strongly believe in that. Okay. Um, and what are some of the things that you're working on in that role? Well, we've been fortunate to work closely with the Care County School Board and the uh, Care County School System to travel uh, with the uh, teachers for the recruiting efforts and bringing in and retaining um, high quality candidates. In particular, we're looking for minority uh, teachers as well. Okay. Um, so, is that something that you're working on with, uh, um, I want to say, um, Patricia Lavroni? Well, we're working with um, Anna Maria, uh, Jimmy Saylor, mm -hmm. and it's been successful. Um, it's been also very rewarding and, re and enriching. You get to see how hard the work is to bring the top quality teachers mm -hmm. to get these great results that you're seeing on paper. Uh, Carroll County is highly ranked in the state of Maryland for education. Mm -hmm. And what area of Carroll County do you live in? We didn't cover that area oh, earlier. Oh, okay. I live in a small town called Finksburg. Okay. And uh, what, what are your thoughts of Finksburg? It's awesome. It's great. Uh, I love my neighbors. Uh, I, it's, I think it's a res the reciprocated feeling. There's a strong sense of community, family. Uh, we help each other out. We look out for each other. And uh, my community is uh, mixed. There's definitely cultural diversity there. Mm -hmm. And we talked earlier, you mentioned that, um, you know, over over 30 percent of Maryland is is a minority. Mm -hmm. But when you come to Carroll County, yeah. it's really not. Absolutely, Sean. It's definitely not the mirror image of the statistics according to the state of Maryland. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, over 92 percent of the county is white. Um, and that's that's fine. It's just that uh, there's something missing because the world is not that way. Uh, the state is not that way. When you travel, you will miss out on the complete human experience. Culture diversity is, is, should not be seen as an option. It's part of the real experience of, human, of the human experience. Mm -hmm. um, you miss out on uh, communication and social activities, on just social advancement without it. Uh, if it's not... Um, interwoven into the math, the arts, and the sciences, um, these bright kids are missing out on a, on, a, on a complete experience. It's like they get one-eighth of the true uh, education of life. Mm -hmm. It's almost as if you're almost 
unprepared. I can completely agree with that. I went to school at um, West Virginia University, mm -hmm. and uh, my roommate had, had never seen a black person before. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, I could totally agree with what you're saying there. And I can concur with that because I grew up in Howard County mm -hmm. in the early 70s, and Howard County reminded me much of what Carroll County looks like today, but as you can see with Howard County, it's completely changed. They have culture diversity, they're very progressive, and I hope the same for Carroll County. Mm -hmm. um, but it shouldn't be exactly like Howard County. Um, there's some true authenticity with Carroll County that should be preserved, and the, the people who love the land will make sure that stays in place. Okay. Um, how, what is your perception of how how say, let's say, the uh, African American race is treated here in Carroll County? Well, huh, that's why the NWCP is present. Mm -hmm. um, getting along with someone that doesn't look like you is not easy, mm -hmm. especially if it was never encouraged in the home and it's not seen in the school and then it's not seen at work. Then it becomes an extra step. So, you have to look at it like if you are a minority, it seems automatic, it makes common sense. But if you're not a minority, it makes sense to live the way they're living. Mm -hmm. We have to learn that one of the greatest um, achievements in life is just not academics. It's the ability to learn to get along with people who don't look like you and to value each other's differences. If we were to treat that aspect of life with higher um, value and significance, we would not have half the problems that we do have today. And in Carroll County, um, there are some really beautiful aspects of living here. Uh, unfortunately, because it, you know, people like to be with their own, um, sometimes there is a negative to that. Um, you tend to stay in your comfort zone. You tend to feel good about that. Um, you have to step out of your comfort zone to embrace people um, because it's good for you, not because it's a feel-good thing, because you actually advance better. Mm -hmm. I try to imagine what my life would be if I didn't have the exposure to um, the many different races and cultures that I did have. I would have a very stunted social life, and I wouldn't take that away from my experience, and I want others to have the same experience that I have. Um, I travel all over the world because I'm attracted to other cultures. Um, I feel for those that don't have a passport. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so in thinking about some of those minorities, um, African Americans that have been in Carroll County, the Gene Lewis, John Lewis, mm -hmm. uh, um, Bernie Jones, when you think about those people and those names, people that went to Robert Moton, mm -hmm. um, what kind of, what would you say the legacy they've left behind or started? Well, the Remember, minority is not just one race. It's a, it's a spectrum of people. But the, the, I guess when you look at the people of African, African descent, they're the ones that have been the most abused, most um, punished, most um, denied of basic human rights. So the, the thought is that if you fix this area, the entire spectrum will benefit. And it's been true throughout history if you go check. So that's why um, people tend to work with the African American community or the African community first, because they know if you work there, it, it affects the entire spectrum. Um, meeting um, and working and getting to know people like Jean and Bernie and John and Charles Harrison, another former mm -hmm. president, has enriched my life in, a, in several directions I had even known that existed. Um, these human beings are gems. Uh, they have this uh, deep entrenched um, belief of basic human rights for all people. Uh, they give up themselves when they don't have to. They work on projects and for um, the, the welfare of others where they don't even benefit. And that's the way it's supposed to be. They truly understand what citizenship is. Love thy neighbor, they understand what it is. It's a beautiful thing to be around people like that. And again, the NAACP is not just about African American. Mm -hmm. It started because that was the group of people that were the most disenfranchised.
Okay. And they are very active in this community, I Absolutely. can say. Uh, a, a lot cover a lot of events, and mm -hmm. it's hard not bumping into Gene or John or mm -hmm. somebody or yourself. Yeah. Um, you guys are very active in the community. Mm -hmm. um, what 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 kind of, of mindset is put into you guys? I mean, obviously you come you you came here with the with the mindset of being active in the community. Yes, I, I, you're absolutely correct. And my activity doesn't extend doesn't just stay in um, the county. Um, I am on a consortium with all the other state chairs. Um, excuse me, county chairs in the NAACP. So I'm aware of what's going on in Dorchester County, and Anne Arundel County, and Prince George's County in Frederick County, um, in Washington County, um, because we share our experiences because what I may be ch uh, challenged with in Carroll County may be the same thing going on in Calvary County, we can share notes. Um, we've learned from each other as well. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. You have to just understand that it's not just your circle of friends. Mm -hmm. You always have to understand that just because you're not going through anything doesn't mean that the person that's down the road or just right next to you, just be silent, but they're in pain. And that's usually how people suffer. They don't know how to speak out. They don't know who to speak to. Um, so I guess we're the voice of those that do speak out, mm -hmm. and, the, and mainly for those that are afraid or don't know how to. Okay. How do you, um, how do you keep the community active? I mean, in, in your events or in, within the Carroll County or mm -hmm. just any, any other counties that you're involved in? How, how do you just find people who love the land. I keep saying this, but it's mm -hmm. very true. Are you a Jonas or are you a Jesus? Mm -hmm. uh, Jonas is a person who felt highly justified in his hate or in his apathy because he was hurt, he was abused, the people were mean, the people were nasty, didn't deserve his help, but you have to get beyond that. Um, if you really believe in citizenship, you, you go beyond that stretch. Um, you just have to f believe in that. Um, there's a lot of um, soul-based thinking when it comes to just community involvement. You really have to have it in your heart to help people. It's not, there's no script. Um, it's just a heartfelt belief that basic human rights should be granted to everyone no matter what the circumstance. And you start there and you move from that. And that's how you move outside the county and outside the states. And then you, all of a sudden the world is your citizen and, the, and your neighbor too. Okay. Um, can you talk about some of the, uh, I know you said your experiences in Carroll County have been very positive mm -hmm. and you enjoyed it. Can you talk about some of the things that you've heard of the not so pleasant things? Oh, there was this one lady that called and she was in tears because she was having um, repeated difficulty and being her child's advocate. She had gone to, the, this is in, in Tawny Town, she had gone to the school, uh, complained about the uh, inequity in the treatment of her son, and it got to the point that they were so used to seeing her, her son was ridiculed in school, so he stopped talking to his mother mm -hmm. to save face. Mm -hmm. And then when she caught on to it and she confronted her son, he says, I'm too embarrassed. Can you imagine that, uh, Standing up for basic human rights can be something that's shameful. Right. Uh, that shouldn't be. Um, I'm thinking about her. I think about a friend of mine who, you know, uh, comes from a town where it's just like this. But just because you come from a town that's just like this doesn't mean that basic human rights should be ignored there as well or is here. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, you know, the Obama speech that's very recent. I don't mm -hmm. have to go back to last year, I can just go back to last month. Right. Um, the fact that uh, there were many parents denied the opportunity to make a choice about whether or not to see the speech. Again, basic human rights. Parents want to be their child's advocate. They want to have the say of what their child can and cannot have and what they can be exposed to in education. Mm -hmm. And a lot of parents do understand that education isn't just textbook knowledge. It is social knowledge. It's the exposure to different cultures. Not the fear of the different culture that's not like yours, but to embrace it. Because you can and should learn the benefits of all cultures. And you're missing out when you don't. So you don't have to wait till you have a percentage of neighbors to have a percentage of teachers and police officers and politicians that look like you. Mm -hmm. That's not the point. 
The point is to see the value of people who don't look like you and to understand they contribute equally as much as you do. But as long as we don't see that, we're going to systematically shut people out, follow the status quo, and hurt people mm -hmm. silently. And we have to break out of that mold. Okay. Um, now, you moved here three years ago from Howard County. I, I moved here from Prince George's oh, County. Prince George's County. So you can imagine, Prince, if you ever saw the statistics with uh, Prince George's uh, County, uh, it's very diverse. Mm. And there's a large percentage of um, people of African-American uh -huh. uh, um, descent. I don't say black, uh, or excuse me, African-American, because if you go peel the layers off, um, you have people from all over the world and they happen to be black, mm -hmm. and there's many different cultures. So right. I point that out to you, right. and you're looking at one of them. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I grew up in Howard County. I went to elementary school, mm -hmm. middle school, and high school, and I dealt with a strong dosage of racism mm. all the way through. Really? All the time. So I understand uh, about that child in the back row where there's 30 or 20 students and there's only two that are black and they're going to be silent, they're going to smile because they understand about um, getting along with everyone, but silently they're suffering. I used to be one of them. Uh -huh. How'd you maintain? I had top grades. Mm -hmm. I felt that was my only way to fight mm -hmm. racism. Uh, sweetest revenge is success, I suppose. I didn't know anything else to do. I wasn't going to use my fist, even though sometimes I had to. Mm -hmm. Uh, not because I was interested, that was just to defend myself. Okay. And uh, when you look back on all that, do you have children? No. No? Mm -hmm. um, what, what, do you plan to have children? If God permits, absolutely. Okay. Um, what will you instill into your children? Oh, gosh. From all of my painful and joyful experiences, um, to love everyone. And for those that don't look like you, try a little harder. It's easy to get along with people that look like you and like you and your family members. There's no effort really in that. It's almost a script you have to. But try to get along with the person that doesn't look like you. Try to get along with the person that actually pisses you off. Mm -hmm. uh, try to love a person that justifiably got on your nerves and hurt you. That's the true gem of um, human welfare. Uh, if we can learn to do that, a lot of these isms would go away. And this is not a kumbaya moment that I'm talking to you. It's actually true. Mm -hmm. There is a way to get along and not look alike at the same time. Now, there are um, a lot of people that have, outside of Carroll County, of mm -hmm. all races, that have their, sep their own perceptions of what goes on oh. inside of Carroll County. Absolutely. Um, and some won't move into the county because of what they think may happen to them. Oh, I could just go with my very, very large family. Uh, they came out when I first moved here. They all came out here, and I had at least 100 people here. And the question they kept asking was, how did you find this place? What were you thinking? What were you thinking moving all the way out here? Then, of course, they had one member out of, I don't know, 300 moving out here. So people started digging after I got here and they said, are you aware that the Klan is here? Are you aware that um, there are all these problems? I said, well, I'll tell you my experience. Who are you going to believe? What you read or me? Mm -hmm. Well, you. And I said, well, I'm sure I don't want to discount other people's experience, but I'll tell you, you have some good people here. You always have good people in the midst of bad. Always. You're never going to get rid of that. So don't try. Try to learn how to get along with everyone. Because if you do, you're always going to be walking around, finding a place to live, and then scrubbing people to death. And uh, that's not the purpose of life either. Okay. Um, do you have anything that you'd like to add? Any messages you'd like to put out for the public to know about yourself or NAACP or what things you guys have going on? Uh, just, you know, for those that are already here that love the land, continue to love the land because that's how you will continue to be a great neighbor and a community supporter. If you are outside of Carroll and uh, you're looking and your mind is open, this is a great place to be. Don't be discouraged by not seeing a set amount of people that look like you to come here. Uh, the people who have strong family values, and that's enough to attract you to be here. 
If you're someone that likes to make a difference, come on. Uh, this is a great place to be. Make a difference. That's how the people before us got here. So revel in it and be part of the experience. All right. Thank you for coming in and sparing you, your, your experiences with us. Thank you. All right.